my name is Roman Asset. I'm an illustrator and painter from London. Originally, I'm of Kurdish descent. I've always liked painting. Even when I was a kid, I would always be the, be the kid next to all the paints and the chalk and things like that. But um, I think over the past maybe three, four years, I started taking it up seriously when I decided to study it for uni, study illustration. And then um, in my second or third year of uni, I decided I started um, taking a liking to more abstract kind of work or like fine arts, something that my course didn't really like me doing. They liked me doing more commercial illustrations and things. So um, yeah, now I'm just trying to experiment with my style, trying to paint uh, different things with different mediums. I don't like to stick to one medium. I like to explore and experiment and try different things to find what I'm what I really like. I think the good thing about art school is that they kind of try and expand your creativity like if you like creating with one medium um, they will they won't have anything against that because they're all about just you know creativity in general so they're just like you know here's the brief you create wherever you want however you like to create it and then there's like little workshops that kind of push you to kind of find things um, but there's also the option if you want to do photography even in an illustration course like that's possible as well if you want to take more of a active role in art I don't think it's necessary to go to art school I think what's necessary is the practice and uh, keep doing whatever you're doing and meeting the right people I think it's easy when you go to art school to get fixed on the grades and get fixed on the marks but I think people forget to just get fixed on the practice and what they're doing Recently, maybe over the past year, a lot of my work is really conceptual. It's a lot of abstract, a lot of portraiture, but I like to combine the two um, because I don't like to have one style to say, okay, I'm an abstract painter or I'm a portrait painter. I like to combine. So I think a lot of my work is, I, I don't know, a lot of people, they say my work is quite dark, it's quite moody. Um, so I like to paint things that are not so literal. I like to, I like the viewer to have a different interpretation, like every, every viewer to have a different perspective on it. I don't like everything to be so literal. Obviously, like I do some little illustrations and that a lot of my creative friends, when I see them doing work, that inspires me to create more work. I think a lot of the issues happening today in our society kind of inspires me to raise more awareness and uh, I like looking, I like studying and looking at like old school abstract artists, um, going to exhibitions and things and just trying to, trying to just get inspired and I get really, really inspired when I go to exhibitions and I see large pieces of work because every time I feel like my work is not big enough and every time I go see these paintings and these galleries like I just feel like oh, I need to go bigger and bigger and bigger. My first exhibition I got through Twitter, I got through uh, the curator art director Sophia Tassu and it was for Converse, in collaboration with Converse on the issue of grime music and appreciation for fine art and contemporary paintings so Sophia she contacted me on Twitter and she really liked my work and that was my first exhibition that was October 2016 and since then I've had about maybe now about 10 maybe 9 or 10 exhibitions and um, every time I have my paintings up on the walls I just I just can't believe it I'm just like oh my god and I get really nervous and people they I, I don't want people to know that I'm the artist because then people start coming to me and asking me questions and I'm like oh I get really nervous talking about my work so but uh, I love the feeling of seeing my work on the wall it's just like there's there's no feeling like it it's just when you, when you're creating in the corner of your bedroom it's just different to see the same painting on the wall with like people looking at it and commenting on it and taking photos of it and it just it makes you feel like it feels nice like appreciated like when I first started posting seriously on my feed I wouldn't post a lot of personal stuff about myself I wouldn't post a lot of photos of myself or like things like that I was just kind of all about the work because I wanted my work to do the talking 
but recently I've been trying to like put like me you know the face behind the work so it becomes a bit more like personal for like people that like like my work and things then people find out it's me because my friends they go up to them and they're like oh this is this is her this is the amazing painter it's me and I get really like embarrassed a lot of the times I kind of just I just stay like a bit back I like to watch like okay these people are looking at my work and I feel like it feels good but then the curators will be like oh this person wants to meet you uh, this person wants to have your business card and I always carry my business cards with me just in case especially for an exhibition like I just think that it's just so important just you never know who you want to meet when I had an exhibition in October one of the curators he said I want to introduce you to a guy and the guy wanted to buy the paintings and I had my business cards with me and it's just, it's more professional, like, but for me, I, I don't like, I like my work to do the talking, like I said, I like my work to be the front thing and then me is like, my face is like an extra, you know, like, okay, this is, <laughs> this is the person that creates all the stuff, so, but I still get a little bit shy sometimes. Living in London and meeting loads of other creative people that live in London is really, it's really uh, nice, it's really rewarding because you meet a lot of people that are the same age as you, going through the same situations as you, like it is really competitive and sometimes it, it's, it kind of gets you down because you see like on social media all these people are, they've been having like loads of exhibitions, they're getting loads of opportunities and loads of jobs and you feel like you're not there yet and it puts you down, it demotivates you but i think for me anyway like the way i kind of overcome that is i just make sure that i just keep painting and i just keep trying because it's so easy to compare yourself to other creatives but if you surround yourself with the right people surround yourself with other creative people who push you and i think the main thing is to push yourself as well but it's really stressful sometimes with london it's like one of the like a lot of people like i don't think I realise sometimes how many people want to be artists in London or successful photographers and things and now there's more people that want to follow this kind of career. It's harder for everyone individually but I think it's just as good because it pushes you more and it makes you work even harder. So my plans for the next year, hopefully, I want to have my first solo by the end of this year. Um, because all the exhibitions I've done up until this point have been group and I love doing group exhibitions because like I said um, I get to meet loads of other people I get to meet loads of other creators that I've never met before but I think there comes a point in every artist or creative's uh, career that they want to have a solo show or they want to just show their work and things um, but I obviously want to still do group shows I still want to do group exhibitions um, and I think just the main thing is to keep painting like now I have all this freedom outside of uni I don't have a brief I don't have like projects that my teachers give me I have to give myself projects so that's something that I like doing as well personal projects I think there was this phrase once and I don't remember where I heard it but it was I I can't say it I can't speak it, that's why I paint it, so that's kind of something that I like to go by when I'm creating or I'm thinking of ideas, um, because you know, like I said, I don't like my stuff to be so literal, and if I feel like I can't express it verbally or in any other way, I like to paint it, I like it to be put there, so yeah, if you can't speak it, then I paint it. <laughs>